Hey folks, welcome back to Lenderman's Shop. Thanks for tuning in today. I wanted to go over uh, a, a new addition that I got for my fireplace um, for this year. And you're probably looking at my fireplace thinking, what in the world is that? Uh, well, I will let you know. This is straight out of the 1970s. Um, this is from the time of, uh, you know, great fuel conservation and so forth, where the gas uh, issues happen and all that. Um, but it works. The fire burns great. It gives out a nice, nice amount of heat, and the smoke goes up the chimney. Um, originally, this had a a fan that went over here and pushed the air through those big uh, radiator-looking things, and then the, the the air would come out on top. Anyway, let's get to the topic here. Um, I I just got a brand new fire grate for the fireplace. I've learned over 20 years that in order to have a nice fire that keeps going for a long amount of time, you got to keep those embers sitting up top. Over the last 23 years, I actually was using uh, this here. This is actually, let me just read, this is, um, this is actually just galvanized metal lath that uh, you can do um, plaster repair work and so forth. So I use this um, every couple of years. I would have to cut a new piece because this would just kind of disintegrate in the fire. Um, and if, if you're in a pinch, this is, you can just go down to Home Depot and grab one of, the, one of these. My wife discovered that when this heats up and burns, it emits different toxic chemicals and so forth. So, of course, uh, she urged me to find something different to put into the fireplace, which is what I did. So, this is kind of a last resort. Keep that on hand if you need it. But let me show you the grate that I just got uh, and I just installed. This is the, let me read from my computer here, Fireplace Grate Ember Retainer. These come in different sizes and you'll have to cut, most likely you'll need to cut to size. Let me get this one out for you. And use gloves when you handle this because there, there's nothing, no finesse about this at all. There's a lot of sharp metal on here. So use gloves. I had to cut right here. See that notch right there and that notch right there so that it would lay flat on the, the, the big grates on the inside there. To get through this, um, I'm not going to show it to you, but I had to, I went through five cutoff discs with my uh, rotary tool to get through that. As you can imagine, this is really thick for what it is. It's really thick steel um, and a little bit hard to get through. So if you get one of these and you have to cut it down, which you likely will need to cut something in order to fit right into your grate, maybe not, but likely you will have to, um, just know that you will it, it will take time to... Um, to get this cut through, so don't rush through that. Now, if you have uh, more professional tools than I have, then you might be able to get through it, no problem at all, welding system and so forth, you could probably get through it. All right, let me show you what it looks like on the inside here. Looking in here, you can see how, uh, see how much space is between each one of these um, tubes, I guess you call them. So when I burn a fire, if I don't have the grate in there, all the embers fall straight through, and the fire goes out fairly quickly. So we need to keep those embers up top. That's what keeps the fire going. So let's go ahead and put in the grid now. I'm sorry, this is officially called the ember retainer. So what I needed to do is set it in here and then just cut. Just cut in those two different spots. One spot right there and the other spot is right there. See it on the other side and it fits fits in there quite nicely. And it uh, again, it has quite a bit of strength to it. So I think this will last for a, a very long time. If you're interested in how to build a fire from the top down using the top down method, go ahead and check out this video that I'll put right up here. Uh, it's something new to me. I just started doing that last year as well. And I've had great success with the top down uh, method of building a fire. Um, all right. Thanks for joining me today, folks. Uh, if you have trouble keeping your fire going, then and think about putting a grid in like this. I'll put the link below for this. Not, not too expensive. It's the Fireplace Great Ember Retainer, um, and it looks like it's about $17 right now on Amazon. And then again, you can buy them in different sizes and then just cut it down for, for what you need as far as the, uh, the custom fit inside the fire fireplace. Okay? Thanks for tuning in today. Um, I hope you have an enjoyable season of fireplace fires coming up. Um, 
And uh, leave a comment below. Did this help? Do you have other suggestions as far as uh, how do you keep your embers and keep your, your fire going? All right. Till the next video. Take care.